Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue when running the diagnostic utility on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer when it says that there are settings that might be blocking the connection. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in Control Panel, Best result should come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. On the view by selection on the far right side, click on the drop down and select category view. Select large icons. And then you want to scroll down and select where it says Windows Defender Firewall. And just select that. And on the left side where it says Restore Defaults, go ahead and select that. And then select Restore Defaults. And this will reset and restore all of your default settings to the Windows Defender Firewall that you have made since Windows was installed. This may cause some apps to stop working. Do you want to continue? Select Yes. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here. And I would suggest at this point opening up the search menu. Type in CMD. Best result should come back with Command Prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, I want you guys to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS, flush DNS, sure will be one word, attach that forward slash out front, hit enter in the keyboard, should come back with Windows IP configuration, successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock. W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Once again, exactly how you see it on my screen, and hit enter. Should come back with successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. At this point, go ahead and close out of here, and then restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point of issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. Through all positive will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.